YouTube. Before we start, you already know, smash the like button for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For all the newcomers, welcome to Team Island. Make sure to follow Team Island on the IG page, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch, and make sure to tune in to our weekly live stream to more, for more DB tips and tricks. Today's video, I'll be explaining, I'll be sharing tips for DBs to not be nervous in games. We're gonna talk about what you need to look for, how to really recover from getting beat from a deep ball or a touchdown or anything, and come back and strap up the next play. We're gonna talk about those little details. We're gonna talk about what things that could help you, advice that could help you so you can move on and make more plays and play comfortable, play free. It's really a mindset thing when you take that next step from college to the NFL. Like you, you, got, you got all the ability, you got all the talent, you got everything, you ain't gotta worry about that. I feel like some people worry about that like, man, I. I now I'm gonna be playing receivers who I looked up to, yeah. receivers who yeah. I play on man. Like, yeah, you are, and it's 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 cool or whatever, it's dope. But you there for a reason but too. You there for a reason. First thing first, practice how you play. If you practice throughout the week, if you're chilling, not taking practice seriously, when it comes to the games, you're not gonna be prepared. You wanna practice how you wanna play. So you gotta practice hard put 110% effort in everything you do, drills to team, to one-on-ones, to anything, special team drills, everything. You got to go 110%. Ideally, you want practice to be harder than the game. So when you get in the game, it's easier, right? So understand that practice is very important. So don't take practice lightly. Practice like you want to play. So you want to make sure every single day you take practice seriously and you get better each and every day from practice. Now, throughout the week, when you're preparing to play a team, you got to watch film. Very important. The tape is like my second hobby because it makes the game easier. The film's on your iPad, so I sit there in my bed and go through film all day. You can't be out there partying and think you're gonna be the best. It takes discipline on and off the field. You might play well, you might you know, make some plays, but you're not making all the plays. I'm telling you, watching film and studying the team that you're about to play, it's a cheat code because when you get in the game, it becomes so much easier because you recognize things and you start to make sure you react quicker to certain things that you see from watching film. So as you're practicing throughout the week, as you're going through scout team, look at the plays that the offense or you're going against does, right? You want to make sure you find the tendencies the offense is doing, right? You want to break it down when you watch a film from off, uh, formations to personnel to down and distance, where the receivers line up and all that stuff. We got a great video on that, so make sure you check it out when you get a chance. But practice is very important. Watching film is very important because the game will be so much easier and you'll be making more plays just from watching film and practicing hard. Now, when we're practicing, you gotta know the game plan. Trust the game plan do your job in the game plan, the scheme, right? Break it down, right? If you got deep third coverage, make sure you do your job. Don't do anybody else's job. Don't think about anybody else's job. You should trust your teammates for them to do their job. Once you start to do a little bit more, once you start to do someone else's job and you compromise your responsibility, that's when you make a mistake. Next thing you know, coach is taking you out. Your confidence is going down. So always focus on just doing your job. Very important. Game plan and you watching film and you studying the team that you're about to play, the offense and the formation and the receiver splits and all that stuff. Now you can look at what routes are going to attack your job in their scheme, your job in the play, right? So if you got two receivers, flip alignment, number one's on, off and number two is on the ball, right? Number two runs that corner route. That's your job in deep third, right? So you gotta see those, what routes are gonna attack you in that scheme, in that play, right? So once you break it down, right? Once you understand when coach is gonna call this for, uh, play, coverage, and all that stuff, you're breaking it down, you're looking at the offense of what they're gonna do at that down and distance, and now you're getting more confident in those plays, you understand the offense, you understand the tendencies, and now you could be a step ahead of offense to make a play. So now, when you're getting ready for a game, have a routine, right? Have something that you do consistently that helps you calm down. Emotions can be high, right? Everybody's got their own thing. Everybody's screaming, yelling. You don't want a lot of pressure, especially as playing DB. You want to be able to be confident and play calm and relax. So when you get on the field, you play loose and you're ready to just go and make plays. But once you think it too much, 
and you start overthinking, a lot of things go on. People in the crowd making noise, uh, the offense is making noise, defense is making noise, and you can't really think. That's when you really have to really take a deep breath and bring yourself back down and really focus on the play. So before the game, have a routine what you need to do. If you listen to music to calm you down. If you're one of those guys that get hype, do what you got to do, get hype. But you got to remember, you got to be calm. We're getting ready to play the game, right? So you can think clearly and think fast, right? So what I used to do a lot of times is before the game, I get into a spot by myself, think about all the plays that I needed to memorize, think about all the coverages, right? Then I'll just look at my, my notes. Then I look at uh, film, what I studied, what, uh, down and distance, right? And I look at all that stuff just to calm me down as I listen to music. So I'm thinking about what I'm supposed to do in each play, what I'm supposed to do in this situation, right? And then I see it visually, right? Visualize me make a, being successful against those plays. How I'm going to make a play on this, how I'm going to stop this play. So you got to find a way to do that, right? Whatever it is that you have to do. If you, you and your teammate do that together, you guys watch film together, or you go by yourself, think about it, watch film, break it down, right? Something that brings you back down. Damn. Now, as you're getting ready for the game, work on your drip. Very important, right? You look good, you play good. good look good, you play good. Play good, play good, play good, live good, live good, you know, eat good. So understand that find your drip that's going to make you look good so you can play good. You don't want to be dripped out not playing good, right? So all this stuff plays a part. You want to make sure you prepare yourself for the game throughout the week, right? Watch film throughout the week, right? On game day, recap of everything you did throughout the week, break it down. Right before the game, a couple hours before the game, find a place for you to just calm down and really focus on what you need to do. How are you going to be successful this game? What do you need to do to do your job and be do your job at a high level? How are you going to make plays? When can you take that chance to make a play? When do you got to make sure you're in position to help your teammate, teammate to make the play? Game time, getting ready to get on the field, right? I used to do is, I used to say a quick prayer, make sure I, you know God got me wherever I need to do. Find a time where you could spend at least five, 10 seconds to just really, all right, let's go talk to yourself a little bit. Let's make some plays, be confident, right? And just get ready to clear your head and get ready to go in the game. So as you go in a game, the first play, right? So a lot of people get nervous. You got the stomach is going crazy. The mind's all over the place. That first play is very important, right? So what I used to do a lot of times, I look for contact first play, right? If a receiver's trying to block me, I set the tone that it's gonna be a long day. So if he try to block me, I'm making sure I'm doing being physical, getting full extension, and trying to throw him on the ground trying to get in their head, right? That first play, that's, that's really sets the tone of the game because that receiver is going to know how physical you are or how mentally weak you are by that first play. So understand that if you demand physicality, if you bring the physicality to him and you make him worry about you that first play, he knows it's going to be a long day. When you're in a game, right, trust what you see. Remember the tendencies you found from watching film. Right, see it, point it out, communicate it. Very important, right? So if you see, all right, he's at the bottom of the numbers, third and five, I learned hitch. If you've seen that multiple times during film and they come out in that formation, just know, hey, I see it, you gotta trust it, right? Don't just jump it right immediately, still work your technique, but be ready for that hitch, right? Understand that, corner is a tough position. So if you studied and you did everything right and your technique is right, you earned to go make a play. But if you're nervous and you hesitant, they're gonna get that first down. So you gotta make sure that you trust yourself, you're confident in what you did throughout the whole week because you want practice to be harder than the game, right? You did everything you need to do throughout the week, that play is gonna be there and you're gonna take advantage of that play and make that play. Now, when you get the opportunity to make a tackle, a lot of people, a lot of DBs get nervous trying to make their first tackle. You just gotta go, you can't think about it. Go make the tackle, don't worry about how big this guy is or whatever, blah, 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 all that stuff. Get off the block, get off the block, shed the block, go, don't hesitate, make sure you tackle low. Low target tackle, right? Hit with your shoulders, don't reach to make tackles because everybody's gonna break through arm tackles. We wanna make sure we hit with our shoulders, near leg, near shoulder, track the near hip of the ball carrier and just go finish that tackle, right? So hit with your shoulders, hit, wrap, Drive, right? The more you just go and just play, 
the more plays you're going to be able to, to make. But once you start thinking mid-play or that situation, you think, oh, I got off this box clean. Oh, no, I got to make this tackle. You got to, you already doubted yourself and you're going to miss the tackle. Trust yourself. Trust the technique. Trust all the work that you put in throughout the whole offseason, throughout all practice is going to show in the game. And then you're going to make that tackle. Situational awareness. Understand what's going on in the game, right? Know the down and distance. Know what the offense needs to do to get to where they need to do. If it's 10 seconds left in the game, right? Third down, right? Understand the situation, right? They're losing, they need a touchdown. Understand where you need to be to make sure that doesn't happen. Coach has already planned about it, talked about it all week, right? And remember the go-to plays, right? Remember who's the top guy, where they're gonna go to find the best player and they're gonna try to get him the ball. So understand that if that guy's on your side of the field, right? And you know the situation, third and five, he's at the bottom of the numbers, hitch. Top of the numbers, third and five, most likely speed out some outbreaking route. Understand that, right? If he motion away, communicate the motion, right? Communication is very important. It's going to make the game so much easier. You can't play this game by yourself. You got to play collectively as a defense, as a team. So everybody got to be on the same page. So communicate what you see, right? Trust everybody's going to do their job. You're going to do your job. Now, throughout the game, it's going to be ups and downs. Sometimes you're going to get beat for a play. What do you do when you get beat, right? Biggest thing is you got to clear your head, right? You got to make sure next play mentality. As you get beat, if you get beat for a touchdown, big play. As soon as you get an opportunity to get on the sideline, learn from the mistake. What did you do wrong? A lot of times people got iPads or the TV. Watch what you did wrong. Look at it. Take 30 seconds. Just look at it. Oh, I didn't open up too late or I didn't get hands on. I didn't kick step. Right. I didn't lean and locate. Look at it. Put in your mind. Damn. Next time I'm going to lean and locate. Forget about the play now. You can't think about it. You can't be like, damn, I gave up a touchdown and you're going jogging back to get on the field. Once you're thinking about that, it's going to happen again. But you got to clear your head. Right. It's a long game. Right. There's going to be ups, downs, but you're going to be ready for the next opportunity because just remember they got you one time. They're going to try you again. And once you they try you again, you're going to be in perfect position to make the play. But you can't think about it, the, the bad play that you just had. You got to move on because that opportunity is going to come again and you're going to make that play. You got to be confident that you're going to make that play. If you want to go to the next level, if you want to go to the league and all that stuff, you got to prepare yourself to be successful on game day. In order to do that, it starts with practice, watching film, right? All that stuff being successful on the field. If you practice lazy, it comes to game day, you're not going to be making plays. You're going to show lazy effort on the field. You practice 110%. You run into the ball, you being you, you you show high energy, you're doing your job, your technique, and you're making plays, all that stuff is gonna lead to greatness on the field. But it starts with how you practice and how you prepare. Very important. Now, if you don't get a lot of reps, if you don't rotate, find ways to get on the field if it's through special teams. Special teams are a great way for you to make your, your name known so you can get more reps on defense or offense, right? Special teams, show high effort on special teams. Coaches love kids that take special teams seriously and make sure they do their job at a high effort and making plays on special teams. If you make plays on special teams, I'm telling you, you're going to find yourself making plays on defense. Coach is going to end up giving you opportunity and then you're going to take advantage of the opportunity and then you're going to find yourself getting more playing time on defense or offense. But you got to take special teams seriously. Now, remember, when you step on this field, clear your mind. Just focus on doing your job. Don't do anybody else's job, just do your job. Trust what you see. You gotta remember, your coaches believe in you. They wouldn't put you on the field if they didn't believe in you. Your teammates believe in you. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta be confident in yourself, right? Once you have all that, the game becomes simple. Don't wanna overcomplicate the game, right? Just keep it simple, relax, go make plays and do your job. Once you do that, Plays are going to come to you and you're going to make more plays. You don't want to try to force yourself to make plays, right? You, gotta, you don't want to be trying to go out your responsibility trying to make a play. No, let the plays come to you. And you will see that when they come to you, you're going to be in position to make great plays. But it starts with you being confident in your abilities, trusting everybody on your team, believe in you, and you believe in yourself. 
Oh, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like on this video and share with your lost cousins. Our goal this season is to get to 25K subs. We're really fighting for 100K, but we want to take it step by step to so 25K subs. So make sure to share with everybody and let them know the best DB tips and tricks is at Team Island. All right, make sure to sub to the YouTube channel if you haven't. Make sure to tune in to our weekly live stream for more DB tips and tricks. Make sure to follow us on all our platforms, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.